Hi, Mart here, and today I'm doing tutorial about gradient maps in Grida, which is coloring technique that can help you turn your grayscale image easily into colorful painting. In this video I want to talk about how gradient map works, what to keep in mind when you want to use this technique, and, and how to apply it on your grayscale image. So let's get started. First thing what we need is some kind of painting. So I've decided to do this little portrait of this disgusted girl. Or, you know, she's like looking at you and thinking like seriously. Anyway, the gradient map actually doesn't need to work with grayscale image. You can use any colors you want. You can even have like multiple colors or fully rendered image and use gradient map. So why do I talk about grayscale? This is have like really simple answer for it because working in grayscales helps you to get your values of the painting right. Because when you have your values right, you are less likely to mess up your colors. And if you have your values right, uh, in 80% of the time your painting will look decent. Another thing you have to keep in mind when you work with gradient maps is contrast because places on on your painting that you want to have different colors has to also have really different values so for example as you can see I'm when I'm working with hair there's like really really big uh, contrast between hair and her face so I want to make the hair totally different color than her face okay now when you are finished with your grayscale image it's time for some it's time for colors and this is where gradient map comes handy. So after you are sure that your values are right and you don't want to change anything else, you have to group up your layers or merge them into one because gradient map works on a single layer so it will only affect the layer that you have selected when you're applying the gradient map. So group up all your layers you want to apply the gradient map on. So after you merge all of your layers Select the whole image and hit Ctrl C and create a new file from clipboard. Now with the resolution about 800 to 800 or something about that, because what I figured out that when you have 800 to 800, you can still kind of see your image, like you can see what is on the image, and for gradient map it's like the best resolution in Krida to work like sorta in real time because if you have like this huge resolutions oh, like over 3000 it it takes about a minute just to show the result of the gradient map so when you want to create a gradient map it's better to have lower resolution so now we have our test file and we can actually create our gradient for the gradient map. To do so you have to click on filter, map and gradient map. And this little window should pop up. So what we got here, there are like some default gradients here, you can try them. If you're gonna like one of them it's okay but you can actually create your own. And this is what we're gonna do now. So now click add and this little custom gradient window should pop out and with this like with this default from black to white gradient. To add new colors you have to right click the gradient and select split segment and every segment has like these three anchors. The left one, right one, right one and the middle one. Uh, the left one and the right one is just a shifting the segments like in in the gradient and the middle one is to uh, creating like a gradient curve so you just if you want in the segment have like more colors from the right side you shift the middle one to the left side and the other way around and under the gradient you have the left and the right color for each segment and you can change the colors by clicking on them so now I'm just trying to find the right colors for my painting 
and in the meanwhile I will explain a little bit more what these gradients actually means. The gradient works like a little bit like the map for your values in your painting. So on the left side of the gradient this is the color for the black and on the right side is the color for the white. So we are working in 8-bit colors that means the gradient is actually 256 values and every single one of these values will map at the color you select here. So uh, for example if, if I'm gonna select white at the left side and black on the right side it will invert the colors in my grayscale painting. So the black will be white and white will be black. Okay, I've made this little drawing to show you how like this connection how it works. When you are working with your grayscale it's really important to have on mind that when you're picking colors for this gradient it's good to uh, it's good to stick up with your values. So for example if you're picking the mid color it should have like the mid value something about 128 or something like this and on and on and on and on when you're splitting the gradient it just you have to stick up to, to your values you don't have to but it will mess up your values so now when you have your gradient done and you test it on your smaller file uh, you can finally apply it on your original file to do so you have to go back to your original file and once again click on the filter gr map and gradient map and now select your gradient and hit OK and it's also good to turn off the preview on the gradient map window because every time when you select some gradient from this window it will automatically automatically make the preview which takes like minutes to actually show so it's good to turn it off and now we have the few problems for example if you want to add different color for the same value uh, you have to do it by for example creating new layer above it and tur turn it to color and now you can change the color you have to always do some adjustments and when you apply only these like color layer and gradient map it's still not over you have to still work on this painting because painting is not done it's not a magic wand it doesn't solve all of your problems you still have to work on it you still have to know your colors so you still have to figure out the lightning and highlight and stuff like this and most of the time the gradient map will a little bit messed up your values because well it's not perfect so you have to finish this and also you have to correct your saturations and stuff okay so this is all I wanted to say I hope it helped so thanks for watching and see you later